Hola, hola, buenos días, buenas tardes, lo que sea. Bienvenidos a otra lección del Español 2. En esta lección, en this lesson, en esta lección, vamos a ver palabras nuevas. We got some new vocabulario we're going to be looking at today. Um, now, I'm not going to be teaching these words in this lesson. In other words, this isn't something to where you go through this lesson and you know the words. This is just a familiarity. Recognize, start to get to know them. We'll study them in chunks or in groups uh, uh, in the next couple lessons and in class. So, if you're not my student, sorry you'll miss the in class time, but at least you'll get an idea of some of the vocab we're working with. So, let's get right to the vocab. I will say the word, you repeat it, I will say it, you repeat it, then I'll show you the English. And then we'll just move on. I'll try to make this a quick one. Here we go. La primera palabra, la primera palabra, acostarse. Repite, acostarse. Acostarse. Acostarse, to go to bed. Literally, to lay oneself down. Okay, to get on your side. Go to bed. Repite, afeitarse. Afeitarse. To shave, to shave oneself. That say that we're seeing at the end of these words, that's what we call a reflexive pronoun. We're going to be doing those this chapter. This, we're going to be doing those this chapter. So, like, afeitar is simply to shave. You can afeitar the dog. Don't. But you can afeitar the dog. But when you afeitarse, when you shave yourself, um, that's what we're going to be learning. Myself, I shave myself, he shaves himself, they shave themselves every morning. Okay, that's that say at the end. So we'll see that on plenty of verbs. Afectarse. Arreglarse el pelo. Repite. Arreglarse el pelo. It means to fix one's hair, to arrange oneself the hair. Bañarse. Bañarse. To bathe oneself. Cepillarse los dientes. Cepillarse los dientes. To brush oneself the teeth or to brush one's teeth. Cortarse el pelo. Cortarse el pelo. To cut oneself the hair or to cut one's hair. Again, I hope you're repeating those because something's going on in the brain when you see it and repeat it. If you're just listening and you're too cool to repeat, you're going to miss out. So I hope you're repeating them. Despertarse. Despertarse. Okay, to wake oneself, to get up, to wake up. Ducharse. Ducharse. To shower oneself. Duchar is to shower. Ducharse, to shower oneself. Levantarse. Levantarse. To get oneself up, to rise up, to get up. Lavarse la cara. Lavarse la cara. To wash oneself the face, or in English, to wash one's face. Pedir prestado. Pedir prestado. Now, prestado is like a, a loan or a borrow. Pedir is to ask for. So in other words, to ask to borrow. Okay, so if you want to borrow somebody's earrings, hay que pedir prestado. You don't just take them. Hay que pedir prestado. Pintarse las uñas. Pintarse las uñas. These are your uñas. Pintarse las uñas. To paint oneself the nails. To paint one's nails. Ponerse. Ponerse. Now we've had poner before is to put. But if you put oneself, we're talking about to put on oneself, like, Voy a ponerme esta camisa. Quiero ponerme una camiseta. Voy a ponerme los jeans. Ponerse. Él va a ponerse una gorra. Ponerse. Prepararse. Prepararse. Now, we've had preparar before, but now when we say prepararse, we're talking about to get oneself ready or to prepare oneself. Secarse. Secarse. 
to dry oneself. Vestirse. Vestirse. You remember what a vestido is? Vestido, you go to a nice dance, and the girl will wear a beautiful vestido dress. So vestirse, well, you know, that say means oneself by now, to dress oneself, to get dressed, to dress oneself. El agua de colonia. El agua de colonia. Okay, water of colonia, water of colony, or cologne. El cepillo. El cepillo. El cepillo, of course, is, oops, the brush. <coughs> we saw cepillarse means to brush oneself. Cepillo, the noun, is the brush. El cinturón. El cinturón. In one of the last lessons we heard um, Tina talk about somebody had a cinturón negro in Las Artes Marciales. Cinturón, a belt. A belt. By the way, you might remember cinta was also tape. I'm looking around, don't have mine right here. Cinta is tape, ribbon, so you can see how cinta and cinturón can be similar. Most people can get this one just by the cognate. Desodorante. Desodorante. Repite, desodorante. El desodorante. You alright? La ducha. La ducha. Shower. El gel. El gel. If you miss this on the vocab quiz, we're going to have to do some uh, talking after school, perhaps, because it's the gel. El gel. Las joyas. Las joyas. Now, if you're familiar with San Diego area, you know la joya with two L's. It's actually spelled with a Y. Joya means jewel. So, las joyas, the jewels or the jewelry. Los labios. Los labios. Los labios, lips. Oh, by the way, before we had pintarse las uñas, you can also pintarse los labios. Yo no me pinto los labios. Nunca me pinto los labios. El maquillaje. Repite, el maquillaje. Let's try this one one more time. El maquillaje. Makeup. El peine. El peine. Usar el peine. El pelo. El pelo. Now some people say, oh, señor, that word's kind of, um, eh, not as nice as saying cabello. Cabello is a more uh, beautiful word for hair. But pelo, that's what we have this chapter, this unit. Repite, el salón de belleza. El sol, <laughs> perdón, el salón de belleza. Okay, you might recognize Bell from Beauty and the Beast. Bell is beauty. Salón de belleza is a beauty salon. Repite, el secador. El secador. Blow dryer, similar to secarse el pelo. You remember that one? Secarse, we had a little bit ago to dry oneself. Now, el secador, the noun, the dryer. La toalla. Toalla. Repite, la toalla. Like I'm trying to repeat, but you keep interrupting me. Sorry, I get a little ahead of myself sometimes. La toalla, the towel. Las uñas. Las uñas. The nails, we talked about pintarse las uñas earlier. La audición. La audición. The audition, that's an easy one. La boda. La boda. It's a wedding. La cita. La cita. It's a date or an appointment. Tengo una cita con el dentista. I have an appointment with the dentist or tengo una cita con mi novia. I have a date with my girlfriend. Cita. El concurso. A concurso. Looks like concourse. 
contest, contest. Un evento especial. Un evento especial. Well, it looks like what it is, a special event. Entusiasmado. Entusiasmado. It looks like enthused. We'll just call it excited, a little easier. Enthusiasmed sounds kind of funny. We'll just call it excited. We've got a few emotions right now uh, in, the, in the cards, I'm saying, in the uh, vocab. Nervioso. Nervioso. Guess that one. Tranquilo. Tranquilo. Also can go to tranquila. Antes de. Antes de. Before. Anterior before. Cómodo. Cómodo. Oh, I'm going to get cómodo and fall asleep. Cómodo. Comfortable. Depende. Depende. Okay, obvious one. Elegante. Elegante. Okay, also pretty obvious. Lentamente. Remember that mente at the end of the word? I'm sorry, I didn't let you repeat. Lentamente. Okay. Lentamente. That mente at the end of words is like uh, the English L-Y with adverbs. Slowly. Slowly. Luego. Luego. Okay, like hasta luego. Until then, until later. Later or then. Por ejemplo. Por ejemplo. For example, you've seen that before. Rapidamente. Rapidamente. There's that mente again. Rapidly or quickly. Te ves bien. Te ves bien. I say this one to my wife frequency. You look good. Te ves bien. Ser. Well, we've had ser before. We're going to talk about it this chapter. I won't make you repeat it. Ser to be. We're going to be talking about um, when we use ser and when we use estar in this chapter, which also means to be. Ser, to be nationality, occupation, or characteristics. Sorry, that runs off the screen. Estar, state, location, condition. Okay, we'll talk about that later. Oh, two more words. So if something is made de oro, repite, de oro. De oro, it's made of gold. And if something is de plata, de plata, it is made of silver. Okay. Um, by the way, you might have heard of Rio de la Plata. No, you probably haven't. Rio de la Plata, down Argentina way, River of Silver, Silver River. Okay, these are the words for this chapter, uh, this unit. So, um, yeah, just get familiar with them. Go through this video a couple times if you want to. But I really suggest that if you do go through this video again, just do seven words at a time, five to seven words at a time. Don't try to go through the whole thing because it won't stick. So maybe five to seven words at a time. Um, those of you that are my students, you've got an assignment for this. Your assignment is to write down three sentences using some of these new words. I suggest that you don't use these reflexive verbs because we haven't learned the conjugations of the reflexive pronouns yet. Um, instead, just use some of those nouns that we had a few minutes ago um, to do some of those. All right. Buena suerte. Nos vemos la próxima vez. Ciao.